Jose Mourinho linked to the job if Unai Emery goes. Where's this come from? I think it's quite easy to, to find where he's coming from. Obviously, sources have told uh, Rob Dawson, who is our, our man in, in Manchester, who is very well informed, but you could, you could easily gather where that's coming from. The, the other part of, of that story, obviously, is that Arsenal right now are very much fully behind Unai Emery, that there is, there is pressure because it's a club like Arsenal and they want results and they want victories, of course, but there's no pressure in, in terms of it could be sacked very soon if results don't improve or if, you know, if situation, as we've seen with Chaka and Ozil, are not resolved, that kind of thing. At the moment, Emery is safe and, and well, well safe as well. So there's not even a... There's not even a question about, OK, who could come next now because he's going to be sacked soon. And I don't think that Mourinho, if he, if he wants to apply for the job, if the job becomes available, then, then so be it. I don't think that for the people at the top of the club, on the board, the Cronky family and, and Raul Sanieli and people like that would really have someone like Mourinho with that kind of profile in their mind to take over Emery when that, when that will happen. So, but it's not surprising either that Jose you know, he will be keen on a job like that. I think he will be keen on a Spurs job, for example, as well, and, and other clubs like that who are very, very much interesting for him. Jules, why is Unai Emery so safe? What improvements, what have they seen that he's done over the last 18 months that they like? So it's a story that I wrote yesterday uh, on, I didn't read on it, the Jules, website. It, they, they, it's OK, it's OK, mate. You, can, you know, you, you still have time tonight <laughs> after the show. But, no, no, more, more seriously... They, they feel it's still early in the season anyway. We've played 10 games in the, in the league, for example. There's still, you know, 28, 28 more to come. A lot of things can happen, a lot of wins, also a lot of defeats and disappointment maybe. But, you know, they believe things can improve and things can get more positive um, as well. They, they believe that last season, although it finished not in the best way, they could still have finished third and winning the Europa League, for example. They were that, they were that close of those two objectives. Didn't, didn't reach them, OK, but they were still in their minds, some improvement compared to the last few seasons of Arsene Wenger and not just the seven points more that Emery got in the league than, than, than in Wenger's last season, for example. So I think he's got a bit of credit still with him. However, we know that things in football can go very quickly as well. So mm. he's safe for now and they very much back him. And I think in January, if they feel like they could strengthen the squad, they will for sure. But... Obviously, for him, the better things get better and results arrive and he can put on a very good run of results, the better it will be for him as well. Frank LeBeuf, let's bring you into this conversation. You obviously know Unai Emery from his time at PSG. Do you rate him as a coach? Do you think Arsenal have got the right man here? Or is he a dead man walking? I think he, it's still for me to, uh, to see what he can put into the, the Arsenal game. I don't see an improvement... Um, from Seville, in fact, from Paris, it was a, it was a bye time. He lost the dressing room very, uh, very early uh, during his time there, where uh, he asked the, the 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 players what they want they wanted to do, and then they had no leading whatsoever with with them. So I thought coming to uh, to to the Gunners and uh, and and being a better coach or showing what he was able to see in Seville. Uh, will be um, more obvious, but uh, at the end of the day, I don't see anything coming in terms of game. Um, mm. It was pretty good the first year, but since last year, you know, um, the decision that he makes, players that he puts, and we have the examples with Shaka last week, where uh, obviously that guy shouldn't be in the first eleven, uh, being not good enough. Uh, he still has the the, the confidence of of, uh, of Emery, so he makes little mistakes like that. Who um, makes me wonder, you know, if he's the right guy for, for a big club like Arsenal. It's always difficult to be after Mr. Wenger, like it was difficult to be after Sir Alex Ferguson when you, you try to lead a big club. But um, I'm not sure Emery is, um, is still the, the right guy for the, for the right place. Two jobs that he's been linked with, Mourinho, uh, allegedly, that I just don't think make any sense whatsoever. But with his coaching and management strategy is Spurs and Arsenal in the current predicament because Spurs are more liable to lose key players and bring them in. They're certainly not going to match the salary of the top teams and they're unlikely to match the spending power in the transfer market. They may spend a little bit, but we know they have a, a cap when it comes to salary that, are, that is way beyond the rest. So that, that doesn't fit uh, Mourinho's uh, style of management. And the other side is, is Arsenal 
are needing, well, let's be honest, it's a rebuild. Mm. So he goes in there in a similar vein to Man United where he starts moaning and groaning about not getting this player and that player and that player. So I don't, I don't really see why for him it makes any sense or for Arsenal or for the club because they don't need somebody going in there and moaning and groaning about not getting what they want. And ultimately, they need players at the moment. So I, I don't see... Apart from the stories, I don't see where it makes sense for both, for either of those clubs or indeed for Mourinho himself because he goes back into the exact same scenario he had at Manchester United. That is nowhere near closing the gap to Man City and Liverpool. He's got to be an improvement on Emery though, isn't he? Is he? I think so, surely. No, well, with the current group of players they've considering, got. Considering, considering what he's been about for the last decade, he has to have money, right? And considering the way Arsenal go about it... Mm. All the things Craig was saying off the field, it doesn't suit Mourinho. Now, Arsenal, if nothing else, are a team that try and go forward and play attacking football. When was the last time any Mourinho's teams did that? You know, you've got to be careful what you wish for. We sit here and talk about Arsenal as a defensive unit being soft and, and easily to break down. Mm. Well, yes, he would change that. He would make it tougher and harder to break down. But I'll tell you what, it would be at the expense of going forward. So, does that make you any further forward than you are now? You're just flip-flopping everything. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.